I wanted to mention a few things about the router table that I just didn't have time to mention in the videos. Uh, first of all, a number of people have asked me about these drawers and you know that these are so big and why did I make these runners so big because that's just really cutting into my space. Well, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I just screwed that up. I should have made those much smaller and it would have given me more space, but you know, this one works. The top one is fine. Uh, you know, I'm going to live with it. What I want to do is build a little box down in here with just holes in it to keep uh, my router bits and also I want to keep Forstner bits and just all of my drill bits in there too. Uh, you know, I was kind of testing around to see what other kinds of things, you know, my Craig jig fits in there nicely and that sort of thing. Uh, let's see, secondly, oh, another thing I wanted to mention is this opening here. I am going to install the door on here. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put a dust collection port in the back of that. Um, I've heard where some people say it really doesn't collect that much dust and uh, other people say that really not a lot falls down into there. My thought was if it does fall in there I would just take a shot back and scoop it out. Uh, the other thing is, is that I guess I would just change the shop vac from the fence to that if I wanted to because I don't see a time when I would probably be needing both and then if that was the case I would need some sort of a Y connector on my shop vac and I don't really want to get into all of that. A few people were very concerned <laughs> about my placement of this switch and that it's not any sort of a safety switch and you know concerned that I would accidentally turn it on and off. Well let me let me show you if I can put the camera over here. Let me set it up here. Where, okay so there it is. So I've tried every situation I can think of where I would come across here and there's just no way. The only way I can do that by accident would be if I accidentally raised my knee way up here like that and turned it on, which to me seems pretty unlikely. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep the switch on there. It's a simple solution. Now, a little bit about Craig. I really like Craig tools and I like all of their products. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this uh, insert plate is because, you know, it just looked really cool. But Craig, man, you guys really got to tighten up your procedures on your instructions and the way you ship things and the way, the way you sell things. For one, the, the levelers don't come with the plate. And I found that very frustrating because I had already gotten the plate and I, I got it out of the package. And, okay, here's the instructions. Okay, so you read the instructions on how to assemble your insert plate and it goes through cutting the hole and, and everything and then it goes right here how to install mount the insert plate levelers and the whole this whole section is all about those levelers and so when I was looking through that I, I started looking through the package there's no levelers in there you have to order those separately so I had to make a separate order for those which if they had just told me uh, originally even on the packaging somewhere that says levelers sold separately not included I understand some people may not want to use those they might want to just put it on a rabbited shelf that's fine just let me know ahead of time to me those levelers in that system is the whole point of getting that Craig <laughs> insert plate so I don't know but anyways so then I got my uh, levelers and here's the instructions for the levelers and they go through this section here now, notice here the one and a course one and a quarter inch coarse thread screws included are meant to blah 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 they did not include any of those coarse thread wood screws <laughs> now of course I had to get a different size anyway because my top is a different size than the one and a quarter I needed a little bit shorter ones but wow, what, why do you put that on there and then just not include them in the package? I don't know. I also want to give credit where credit is due. The system for clamping the fence on there is, I didn't come up with that. It, I got it out of this book that I picked up at the library called Woodworking with a Router by Bill Hilton. And I actually mentioned this in a mere minutes last week. But I wanted to reiterate that in here is where he describes how to, I got a glare on there, there. He describes how to make those little clamping blocks and uh, this was the fence he made which mine was sort of kind of like that but I didn't really follow the fence too much but yeah, mainly those that clamping system and that really works out great so you know check out the book it's actually you know it's a really good book there's just all kinds of great router techniques and tips.